Welcome back guys. Let's uh, style these images. Now we have several classes for the images. Uh, as you can see here, align center, left, right, align none. And also we have uh, some captions. So let's begin with, uh, with this one, align center. And we'll go sidebar right here. Okay, so I'm gonna say align center, align left, and align right. I'm just gonna do a couple of, you know, general styles. Uh, we need to add some borders. Let's check out the Photoshop. As you can see, the image has a bit of padding inside it, a border, and a shadow. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, padding. I'll do about three pixels, a uh, simple one pixel border. Uh, what else? I'll do some shadows. So I'll do box shadow. So let's do a background white. Let's see it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now for the align center one. Uh, align center, and I'm also going to do ing with a class of centered, since uh, that's also a class that WordPress adds. So for this, I'm going to do display, we'll set it to block, and we'll do margin, top bottom one and a half amps, and sides will be zero. So now this will be centered in the page because we added that auto left and right margin. Okay, next one is the left, uh, the align left image. So align left, do float left, and we'll do margin, one and a half top, uh, right will be, let's do about two M's, one and a half bottom, zero on the left. All right, pretty good. Align right. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Float right, and we'll change this with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty good. And finally, the align none. The align none, I'm gonna add the same styling. Okay. And I'm gonna do a margin of one and a half amps and zero. Now, let's move this below, okay? So we have all the images, uh, the align center, left, right, and none have these styles, and the align center will be centered on the page. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So we're done with the first uh, with the first set of images. Now on to the image with captions. And I'll just uh, scroll down and quickly delete this. I had a quick test earlier and forgot to delete this. Sorry. So image with captions. 
uh, so far it looks like a mess and that's caused by the float of the elements so let's uh, let's quickly fix that by adding a BR with a class of CB CB stands for clear both okay so go ahead and paste this okay so now with the floats cleared we can see about these actual images. So the very first thing I'll do is target that WP caption class like that. And I'll say text align center. Okay. Uh, next, we'll do the WP caption text. It's that paragraph we have. So P with a class of WP caption text. I'll start by resetting its margin bottom. Okay. And I'll do a font size 12 pixels. I'll do a font style of italic. And I'll also do a line height 42 pixels. Okay, now since we're working with baseline grids and you know all the story behind it with you know having margin paddings, multiples of that line height, we can also do that right here. Um, we added a padding to the whole element and also a border. So we have four pixel on top, four pixel on bottom and we can go ahead and uh, subtract that from the line height of the caption. So let's do line height 42 minus 8. Yeah, that's going to be 34. All right. Now we do have one bit of a problem right here, and that's the the whole um, the whole div seems to be expanding to its full width and that's not actually what we want and that can easily be fixed and this is what I was testing earlier uh, this can easily be fixed by adding uh, a fixed width to the parent div yeah so for example on the align center if we do style width like 200 pixels yeah it's not gonna uh, span the entire width now of course we won't do this instead WordPress will do this for us when we attach an image to a post or uh, or a simple page WordPress will automatically add that um, that width so we are good to go like this we'll see if it if needs uh, any changes when we get to the actual WordPress stage okay so let's see we're done with the images uh, this is a video container seems pretty good so far what if we add like um, like a paragraph after this Okay, so we need some spacing around here as well. So let's do video container. I'm going to do a margin bottom 1.5x. Actually, why not target the paragraph immediately following the video container? And I'll do a margin top 1.5x. So if we have a paragraph, it's going to be spaced accordingly. If not, then it's fine. We don't have an extra space below the, uh, the video. Okay. Um, so now let's see about those buttons. So I'm going to create a brand new section here. Oops. Okay. And I'm going to call this button. I'm going to start with a class of button. Let's see. 
class button and blue. Okay. So button uh, display will be set to inline block and we'll give it a radius. Uh, what is this called? I have a parametric mix in, it's called round. And that automatically applies a five pixel uh, radius. And what else? Let's do color white. And um, this is a link. So by default, it's gonna be uh, bold. We'll do font weight normal. And also we could use some padding. But let's, uh, let's do the other class. The actual color of the button yeah so I'm gonna say gradient and is it gradient let's see let's see round gradient yes and it, it accepts two parameters from and to okay so gradient from uh, it's going to be link color Two, it's going to be a darker version. So darken link color by 10%. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's add some, um, some padding here. Padding, padding. Actually, let's do one M on the sides. Now let's do a fixed height for the button, like one and a half M's. One and a half is a bit too low. Three M's. All right, 3M looks pretty good, but I also want that text to be aligned properly. So padding zero, one M. Well, let's see if this tricks this trick will work. Yes, it will. Okay, perfect. So now we have a blue default button. Okay, now we also need a hover state. Yeah, so blue. I'm gonna do a hover state here. And I'm gonna add gradient. Uh, we want kind of a lighter color to it. So uh, hover. I'm gonna say color, change it to white, okay? And gradient, I'm gonna do lighten, link color by about 10%, and it's gonna to go to link color. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, now let's see about the gray about the gray color. So copy this, okay, call it gray. Now let's see if we defined any variables for the gray color. Okay, so dark color, link color, text color. Okay. I'm gonna define a new variable, it's called gray button and the color it's going to be D, F, D, F, D. Okay, so now we can go and go back. And replace. Oh, uh, 
cost so gray gray color what did I call it gray oh sorry about that okay let's have a look all right um, that's that's not really good um, so let's see gradient gray color I'm gonna darken this just by two percent on just a sec let's grab a nice a nice gray color to work with something like something like that because it seems I got the the color code wrong all right well that's that's a bit better okay so we'll go with that gray it starts from gray color to darken we can darken it even more so let's start from a five percent to something else to maybe 15 percent mm -hmm. something like that and the hover state should be from maybe 3% to 13%. Okay. And also we'll change the color to text color. Okay, so that's a simple gray button. Now we can do loads of things to this. We can apply some text shadow, um, maybe some inner shadows and stuff, but really it's beyond the point of this tutorial. Uh, the, main, uh, the main purpose of this tutorial is the WordPress version, the WordPress conversion. So uh, I'm gonna try and keep these styles as simple as possible and not waste too much time. Okay, with that said, Let's do the other uh, button, the small button. This is very, very similar to the other button. Display inline block, round, white, uh, font weight normal, padding height will be one and a half M's, and uh, we'll do a font size of 12 pixels. All right. So these are just some uh, smaller buttons. But I think, oops, I think they are a bit, a bit too small. I mean, they are 21, uh, 21 pixels. One and a half. If we make them 42 pixels, they're gonna be the exact same size as the ones above them. So what I'm gonna do is something different. Let's make them at 30 pixels. And the rest of the the rest of the pixels up to 42, I'm going to place them as a margin. So six pixels. Okay, something like that. Okay, pretty good. Um, all right, well, uh, I'm going to stop right here for uh, this video. Uh, in the next one, we'll take care of the tags very quickly this uh, uh, post navigation, the article, and finally the comments, um, the comments area with the comments form and 
the actual comments themselves. So thank you for watching so far. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.